just be honest, there's no upside to having bunions. Your feet hurt, your shoes don't fit, you can't walk, and you might be embarrassed to go barefoot. I'm not telling you anything you don't know already, right? The purpose of this video training is to tell you some things that you don't know about bunions, and more importantly, show you that it is possible to resolve them naturally. I'm D.L. Walker, a clinical foot and ankle specialist, and I'm here to teach you that it is possible to get rid of pain and shrink bunion size with items that you already have in your home. How is this possible, you might ask? The human body is composed primarily of connective tissue, and it is the connective tissue, not the skeleton, that's responsible for our body's shape or posture. So here's the first thing you may not know. If you removed the entire skeleton from a body, the shape of that body would not change. So how is this related to bunions? It's the connective tissue that is holding the bunion in its current position, and connective tissue can easily be released with a targeted release technique. Therefore, the alignment of a bunion can be changed. So once the connective tissue has been released, is that it? No. Since bunions develop over time, even if you release the connective tissue and the bunion now can move, the big toe joint no longer knows what its alignment should be. You need to teach it where to go, and you do this through something called repositioning. So how does one reposition their bunion, you say? Well, most people with bunions use some kind of big toe brace or toe spacers, but I find taping most effective. So here's the second thing that you might not know. A bunion is not just a big toe misalignment. It's not just a foot misalignment. It's a whole leg problem. And there are multiple areas that need to be released and repositioned, not just the big toe. But here's the good news. You can easily address each of these areas with a targeted release followed by a piece of specialized tape to now teach the structure where it should be to look and function properly. The specialized tape costs only about $10 a roll versus $30 for a bunion brace. With bunion braces or toe spacers, you're only addressing the big toe. And this is one of the reasons why they are ineffective in changing a bunion's appearance. The other is that people who are using them are not releasing the connective tissue, causing the bunion to form, and keeping it in its current position. So if you reposition without releasing the bunion, the bunion will go right back to its original position. As I had mentioned before, a bunion is not caused by a misalignment of the big toe. This now leads me to the third thing that you may not know. The primary reason that a bunion forms is caused by a misalignment of the first metatarsal. This is a bone in the foot that the big toe attaches to. In this x-ray, you can see that it is the first metatarsal that deviates outward, and the big toe is just compensating for that deviation. If we move the first metatarsal back where it should be, then there is no bunion. So in order to resolve a bunion, you need to address the first metatarsal, but not only the first metatarsal, all of the structural forces that act on it in the entire foot and lower leg. This again illustrates why just bracing or even massaging a big toe may resolve its pain, but it will be ineffective in changing a bunion's appearance. So we've released and repositioned. Is that it? No, again. A bunion also has an inflammatory component. They can be arthritic, or there's a fluid-filled sac that, when inflamed, causes bursitis in the big toe joint. And this is why bunions are often painful. So here's the fourth thing that you may not know. For every cubic centimeter of inflammation, a muscle shuts down by 1%. Therefore, the muscles around the big toe will be weak and unable to function properly. So the final two steps in resolving a bunion naturally will be reducing the inflammation of the bunion and re-education of the foot by training those weakened muscles in a specific manner. Is that all? Yes, that's all. Well, sort of. What I've just outlined for you is the way that I resolve bunions and other musculoskeletal problems naturally. I call it the 4R system to pain relief and permanent change, and it utilizes the following concepts. Release, repositioning, reduction of inflammation, and re-education. Which leads me to the fifth thing that you may not know. You have to address all of the components of the 4Rs in the specific order that I've just outlined. This is why current natural bunion treatments are ineffective. And it may also be the reason that there can be lasting side effects and a 5% failure rate with bunion surgery.
To resolve bunions naturally, you'll need to do all of the following in this particular order. Number one, release. There are 12 specific locations of connective tissue that need to be released spanning from the big toe all the way to the lower thigh. And you can do this with a marble or other ball. Reposition. Depending on a person's foot, there are five to seven locations in the foot that need to be repositioned. As I had mentioned, I achieve this through taping. Number three, reduction of inflammation. You will need to choose a topical anti-inflammatory agent or a modality which is designed to reduce inflammation. Number four, re-education. There are four specific exercises which require no equipment and mimic the foot's functional requirements. Not only do you need to do them, but you need to do them with the foot in an optimal alignment. This may be the sixth thing that you did not know. I hope that you learned something new today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side.